please tell us how has the entire experience been as a whole and if you have a message for the media and for your fans the crime once done haunts forever it's a tag line correct Jordi Rudi and his family are still living in its trauma. You know? This year was a blockbuster when it released in 2013 and achieved cult status. The first part of the film was a huge success, uh, not just in Malayalam but also in multiple languages. It was also the first Indian movie to be remade in Chinese. This year was a critical as well as commercial success and one of the films. That changed how the world looked at Malayalam cinema. There is definitely a lot of pressure in making a sequel of such a movie, but we are very confident that it will be loved and well received by viewers. We are now ready to take the legacy forward and achieve a new cinematic milestone with the show too. Well, thank you, thank you for being part of such a wonderful story. And these are the stories that make our country. So thank you so much. Hi. Hello. Hi. Hi, hi, hi. Hi. So, I'm going to start off straight away by telling you I was looking at the trailer and the comments under it, and what stood out was the chemistry between you and Mohanlal sir. Oh my <laughs> God! Tell us the secret. <laughs> <laughs> to be very honest, I don't know what to say about it. Um, in fact, uh, uh, the whole of Kerala uh, feels that way about me and Lal sir. Yes. uh in fact i feel so thrilled i feel so blessed and um you know i feel extremely happy that i could give this kind of an impact to the audience uh, a pair uh, could uh, do so much wonders and give so much of excitement to people and uh, that's what we are here for right i mean we are we have to entertain the people and we are doing a good job i guess and i'm i'm really happy about this thing and i i i feel so blessed thank you <laughs> i have nothing else to say really i have another question for you but and that question is what was your experience like working on drishyam 2 uh, without revealing too much because hey this is that sort of film where we can't tell you too much please yes exactly uh, initially when they uh, told me that they are uh, doing a sequel uh, they're doing drishyam 2 i was extremely thrilled mm-hmm. i was uh, but i was always having this uh, you know a small little doubt that in case what if in the second part i don't have much to do mm-hmm. just because i did the first part i have to co- continue the second part without much character or much uh, you know so that was the only uh, thing that was bothering me and i was uh, though i was thrilled i couldn't really share this with anyone uh, especially to the makers but fortunately fortunately i uh, when i heard the script uh, i was extremely thrilled because i also had a uh, lot of things my character had a lot of depth and importance um in the sequel also drishyam 2 so i'm uh, excitement overloaded <laughs> well thank you you know, you know i can see how you're measuring your words because this yes. is that sort of a film you can't say too much but we have to talk to each other today i really appreciate it thank you for joining me So can yeah. you tell us what are the changes that you know your character has been through in these seven years? Tell us. Yeah, actually, it's been seven years after Trishim One. I never thought that uh, Trishim Two will be coming soon. During the lockdown, Jitu sir called me and he informed me that we are going to uh, start our shooting for Trishim Two. I was like, "What's the?" <laughs> and he was like, "Yeah, we are going to start it." And I was. Oh my God! And impulsively, I went the location. It was a rejoining for us after seven long years, Correct. and we were all very happy. And uh, we had to maintain the emotional continuity uh, from the Drishyam one. Beautiful. So uh, we managed it. Uh, I think people will accept it. And slightly, we have changes in our character because uh, the time has gone. It's after seven years. She is now studying in college. When Drishyam one. uh she was studying in plus 1 she was a high secondary student now she is a college student and uh she has a maturity of seven more years and but she is in still she is in that trauma uh, so it's uh, her character is like uh she has some problems but she's happy because always her father is there to protect her 
Absolutely, absolutely. You know, I love what you said, the emotional continuity. It's <laughs> such a, I wish more actors, you know, and I'm sure you're learning from the best because, uh, you know, Mohan Lal sir is there, you know, probably uh, to guide you in this aspect. But that's such a beautiful term. And I'm going to keep that with me as something that I'll always remember from this interaction. Thanks, Ansuba. And we're going to come back with you in just a little bit. You know, Esther, I have to ask you this question that I've not asked anybody else so far, which is, you know, coming back on this Drisham family is like a reunion, right? Tell us, how is it to be reunited with the family? It was really exciting, like Anzuba Chichi said, you know, uh, during lockdown, Jitu uncle called me up and he was like, we're going to do the part two. I'm like, okay, I was really excited, but I wanted to keep it low as possible. I was like, okay. And he's like, most probably going to shoot it during, uh, you know, these months. So this excitement was there, but also, what do you say? I had to keep it controlled because I didn't know the story. I didn't know what part I was going to play. So this was all playing in my mind, but um, the excitement was there. And while we came back to shoot, you know, it was the best thing that happened during, I mean, last year, because we had a rough year last year. So, I mean, it was fun. It was great. Uh, and I still have the excitement, but I don't want to show it. <laughs> <laughs> I totally understand, which is why, you know, we have decided to ask you just enough for you to leave the audiences with more. So thanks, Esther, for that. The first question, of course, is for Mohan Lal, sir. She wants to ask you, what are the challenges when you make a second part of an already hit film like Drishyam? And as it's an Amazon Prime video release, it will premiere worldwide for audiences across the globe. So are you excited about that? The story. The script. Yes. How you are conceiving it, how you are portraying it, how you are showing it to the audience. <laughs> because um, the movie takes the viewers in the interviewing world of George Oti and his family. Yes. And how their lives altered post their own fateful night. So it was a, it's a big challenge. The story should be gripping uh, and and uh, the, 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 the movie should keep the fans or the audience at their jump their seats yeah. and uh, like uh, this said, uh, sequel uh, it's a big challenge for a basically you know, the big challenge uh, is for for uh, Chitu. For me, still I don't know who is George. What is in his mind? Wow. How he is behaving to protect his family. So my challenge is to portray the character. The main challenge of uh, Rishyam Two is the story and. We were very focused to bring this film because we want to bring the audience back to the theater or back to the entertainment industry. And people should watch it. And they should say, oh my God, this is the film we are waiting for. And I think uh, we are doing it right now. It's a, it's a proper thing. And it is, uh, the sequel uh, is not uh, like, you know, it is not only really a film, uh, it's just not only really a crime act. It revolves around how the family is doing right now. The focus is more on emotions and relationships this time. We are waiting uh, to get the reaction from the audience. Uh, and then only we can say how, uh, how far we succeed in this. <laughs> how wonderful. So, know what excited you about playing Rani George again? And uh, I think we already know the answer, but just to answer her once again, Will Drishyam 2 be an extension of Drishyam? Yes, uh, of course. Uh, it's an extension of Drishyam, the extension of the family uh, which went through so much and what are they going through right now after six, seven years? How the family is coping up? How are they relating to each other? Um, and to that incident, what happened in Drishyam? Did that affect them? Uh, or uh, it, It's like, you know, every character has got their own problems and uh, how are they coping up? Uh, especially my character. She is so worried because she doesn't know what really happened. You know, what uh, George Kuti did. Uh, so that uh, stays a secret. He says it stays a secret until I, you know, until the end of my life so she doesn't know what happened exactly she couldn't share she couldn't think of anything else other than this so the trauma what she goes through and does that really affect the family or 
what she does, what she doesn't, <laughs> a lot of things. So it was a beautiful, beautiful emotional, um, you know, journey. And I loved that about Rani. And she being uh, a little bit of uh, uh, her innocence to do the right thing, to be very scared and to do the right thing about everything and worrying about everybody in the family. Her whole world is a family. But um, the trauma, what she goes through, it's, it's all like, you know, very beautifully uh, shown. And uh, I'm really, really excited for the people for the whole world to watch Drishyam 2 now and this one is from Avinash from Little Talks and so the question is have you watched other remakes of Drishyam and whose performance oh this is a nice tough one oh my <laughs> god <laughs> okay Monlal sir Kamala san sir Venkatesh sir Ravi Chandra sir Ajitam Gun sir how can you pick all the best tough one yeah oh my god actually all the remakes came out very well and I have seen Hindi version, uh, Tamil version, and uh, Telugu version. To be honest, <laughs> I love my daddy. Oh, that is so sweet. <laughs> I think you made a good choice. I think uh, this is a great, great way, of course, to bring in your sister at this point. Thank you so much, Ansiba, for answering that question. You know, you were a little girl in the first part of Drishyam. Over the last seven years, of course, you've established yourself as a young heroine in the film industry. So what change, you know, did you kind of notice in your character as you were playing this uh, part in the sequel? Tell us. So, uh, like you said, it was there, like the transition from a child actor to, you know, playing uh, important characters and now a uh, heroine. And coming back to Drishyam, like Jitu Uncle said, my character is mostly would be don't care attitude and most of the time what she does is that either she fights with her mother like I want to wear this I want to do this I want to do that and um, my sister was all like please don't fight and you know don't talk to your mother like that and lal uncle jolly booty is all like what am I gonna do with <laughs> these two so that was uh, you know it's something that you get to see in most of the families like, uh, you know, once you reach that point, you're a teenager and you have a very carefree life and you don't like anybody controlling. So I think Jitu Angul have narrated it very well. Uh, so I think it's a different character altogether uh, when you compare it with Drishyam 1. Because back then she was a kid and she was innocent. Uh, so yeah, it was fun. But, you know, there are certain things here and there's, oh, oh my God, I'm not going to say anything. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm the one who's going to spill things, but no, I'm going to keep my mouth shut. So yeah, that's it. That, that was about my character. In a career spanning over three decades, you've given us so many memorable characters and cinematic moments. And still you continue to surprise us every time. How is it that you do this? You connect with so many characters and so many varied emotions. Today, you'll have to tell us the secret, please. You want to know how I am doing such things. Yes. <laughs> Uh, I, I call it as a blessing. I think some unknown energy is helping me. There's no, there's no proper answer for this. Maybe uh, I trust my directors, my yeah. scriptwriters, my colleagues, and my fans, of course, and people who love movies. Uh, it could be the reason. Otherwise, how can I say? It's a blessing to be in this uh, magic for the last uh, 43 years. And still I am continuing. And I think uh, my movies, that is the secret of my success. The kind of movies I am doing, uh, the kind of uh, directors who are using me as an actor, those are the things. Otherwise, I am not able to say how. It's a million dollar question. <laughs> and, <laughs> and I am not able to answer to be very, very honest. I'm also honest with this answer. It would be really incomplete to do this press conference today without hearing that beautiful language. I'm a Tamilian, okay, but my mom's from Palakkad. So okay. I grew up, you know, listening to, watching the movies. I would love it if you can actually tell the fans, you know, to look forward to this sequel coming up. But please do it in Malayalam for us. Drishyam uh, cinema, Shilke Malayala Pashayana, Emotions. 
ഫാമിലി ബോണ്ടിങ് അപ്പൊ അതിൽ ഒരു ഒരാള് അയാളുടെ ഫാമിലിയെ സേവ് ചെയ്യുന്നു എന്ന് പറയുന്നത് തീർച്ചയായിട്ടും അതൊരു എന്താ പറയുന്നത് അത് അയാളുടെ റൈറ്റാണ് അയാളുടെ ഫാമിലിയെ പ്രൊട്ടക്ട് ചെയ്യാൻ പറഞ്ഞു ജോർജ് ഊട്ടി ആ സ്റ്റാൻഡിൽ അതിനെ ഭംഗിയായിട്ട് നിർവഹിച്ചു പക്ഷെ ജോർജ് ഊട്ടി അത് നിർവഹിച്ചാലും ഇപ്പൊ ഇവർ ക്രൈം ചെയ്ത ആൾക്ക് എപ്പോഴും മനസ്സിലെ അതിന്റെ ഭീതി ഉണ്ടാകുന്നത് അപ്പൊ ജോർജ് കുട്ടിക്കും ആ ഫാമിലിക്കും ആ ആ ഭീതി ഉണ്ട് ആ പേടിയുണ്ട് അതുകൊണ്ടാണ് ദൃശ്യം രണ്ടുണ്ടായത് പക്ഷെ അത് ഈ ദൃശ്യം രണ്ടിനും ജോർജ് കുട്ടി അത് എക്സ്പെക്ട് ചെയ്യുന്നു അതിനെ പ്രതീക്ഷിച്ചിരുന്നോ അല്ലെ ആ ഫാമിലിക്ക് എന്താണ് സംഭവിക്കുന്നതെന്ന് അറിയാൻ ഉള്ള ആകാംക്ഷ എല്ലാവർക്കും ലോകത്ത് ഈ സിനിമ കണ്ട എല്ലാവർക്കും ഉണ്ട് അപ്പൊ അതിനെ ഏറ്റവും മനോഹരമായിട്ട് കൊണ്ടുവരിക എന്ന് പറയുന്നത് ഇതിന്റെ ചലഞ്ച് ആയിരുന്നു ആ ചലഞ്ചിനെ ഏറ്റവും ഭംഗിയായിട്ട് ജിത്തു ഇതൊരു ഇന്റലിജന്റ് ഫിലിം എന്നാണ് കണ്ട ആൾക്കാരെ ഭയങ്കര ബുദ്ധി ഉപയോഗിച്ച ഒരു സിനിമ ജോർജ് കുട്ടി സാധാരണ മനുഷ്യനാണ് പക്ഷെ അതാണ് ഞാൻ നേരത്തെ പറഞ്ഞത് ജോർജ് കുട്ടി ഞാൻ ഇത്രയും മുന്നൂറ്റി നാൽപ്പതോ മുന്നൂറ്റി നാൽപ്പത്തഞ്ച് സിനിമ ചെയ്തിട്ടുണ്ടെങ്കിൽ അതിലെ ക്യാരക്ടേഴ്സിനെ കുറിച്ച് എനിക്കൊരു ധാരണ പക്ഷെ ജോർജ് കുട്ടി ദൃശ്യത്തിലെ ജോർജ് കുട്ടിയെ കുറിച്ച് എനിക്കൊന്നും പറയാൻ പറ്റുന്നില്ല ആസ് എ പേഴ്സൺ ആസ് എൻ ആക്ടർ കാര്യം അയാളുടെ മനസ്സിലൂടെ എന്താണ് പോകുന്നത് അതായത് ഈ സിനിമ കാണുമ്പോൾ കുറച്ച് കൂടുതൽ മനസ്സിലാവും കാര്യം ജോർജ് കുട്ടിയുടെ ഒരു എമോഷനും അയാൾക്ക് കാണിക്കാൻ പറ്റില്ല അയാൾ ഭയങ്കര ഒരു സപ്രസ്ഡ് ആണ് അകത്ത് ഒരു ഒരു എന്താണ് പാറ പോലെ ഉറച്ച് നിൽക്കുകയും പുറത്തൊരു മയിൽപീലിയാകുകയും അല്ലെങ്കിൽ പുറത്ത് ഒരു പാറ പോലെ ഉറച്ച് നിൽക്കുകയും അകത്ത് മയിൽപീലിയാകാന്നൊക്കെ പറയുന്ന ഒരു ധർമ്മമാണ് കാര്യം എന്റെ എന്റെ മനസ്സിലുള്ള എക്സ്പ്രഷൻ അല്ല ജോർജ് കുട്ടി വെളിയെ കാണിക്കുന്നത് കാര്യം അയാൾക്ക് ഒരു തരത്തിലും പിടികൊടുക്കാൻ പാടില്ല അയാൾക്ക് അയാളുടെ ഫാമിലിയെ സേവ് ചെയ്യണം അത് അയാൾ അയാളുടെ ഫാമിലിയെ സേവ് ചെയ്യുമോ അയാളെ സക്സസ്ഫുൾ ആയി മാറുമോ എന്നൊക്കെ തീർച്ചയായിട്ടും ഈ ഫെബ്രുവരി പത്താം നിങ്ങൾ സിനിമ കാണിക്ക് തീരുമാനിക്കുന്നു നല്ല സിനിമ ആയിരിക്കും എന്നാണ് എന്റെ പ്രതീക്ഷ താങ്ക് യു സർ ആൻഡ് വാട്ട് യു സെഡ് ഓഫ് കോഴ്സ് റെസനേറ്റഡ് ഐ ടെൽ യു ആൻഡ് ഹി സെഡ് ജോർജ് കുട്ടി സാധാരണ മനുഷ്യല്ലേ which means he is not an ordinary man let's yeah. keep that in mind and drishyam to sadara param or film illa so i hope i've said it correctly thank you so much ladies and gentlemen yeah.